What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. So I want to talk to y'all about a fight that's not getting a lot of headlines and a lot of people not talking about. We got um, Thomas Lamena facing uh, uh, Gabriel Bracero, man. This is going to be a good fight, man. Uh, Thomas, um, excuse me, man. Thomas Lamanna is uh, coming coming on coming in this fight with a four four fight winning streak. You know, took a, he, he had a loss um, about five fights back. You know, uh, prior to that he was on a, a, a five fight winning streak, and he had took a loss prior to that. You know, but uh, this is a good fight. He comes in this fight with a record of 25, not, 25 and two with uh, nine K nine KOs, fellas. You know, this is going to be a good fight. You know. Um, if you know anything about Gabe Bracero, you know, he comes in, he's fiery, you know, uh, most people probably remember him for the fight with, um, the situation and the fights with, uh, Paulie Malignaggi, you know, um, this is going to be a hell of a fight, man. It's going to be a hell of a fight. It's, it's going to be promoted by Boardwalk, um, Boxing, it's bringing boxing back to, um, Jersey, you know, so, hey, listen, man, we haven't, <clears throat> we haven't had any real, you know, um, Given, given Jersey City, you know, and Jersey, you know, the boardwalk, man, that used to be a staple for boxing, you know. We had Bernard Hopkins used to fight over there. We had uh, Arturo Gotti used to fight over there. You know, um, man, that, it, it, was, it, was, it, it would be great to bring that back, man, because now we got the ball clay. The ball clay is popping off with boxing. You know, um, we got the, the Staples Center, you know, over in California. We got the Stub Hub. You know, now, and of course, we got Vegas, the Mecca, you know. But now to bring boxing back to Jersey, even back to the um, boardwalk, you know, this is this is back to Atlantic City, man. This is just only going to bring the sport of boxing back back to life, you know. I, you know, a lot of people say boxing is dead. I don't believe that, you know. So now we have, you know, different different places where we could, we could uh, have different events, you know, and promote the sport of boxing, you know. It's good for the sport of boxing, you know. Now we got the ball clay, like I said. We got Atlantic City. City bringing back the ball wall, you know, we got the stuff up center was always packed, you know, we got um, uh, Las Vegas, you know, with the MGMs and or well, Las Vegas is always popping, but you know, now we get we get some serious fights put back on the map over in Atlantic City, man, and this is this is the staple of it, man, this is this is just the beginning of bringing back to boxing back to the ball wall, you know, that's all this is, so if you haven't, if you don't know, check this fight out, man, it's Thomas Lomana versus uh, Gabriel Becerro, man, like I said, man, these two fighters gonna come in there, they're gonna give it all they got, you know, um, this is a fight in the welterweight division. And Thomas Lamenda, man, see this is this is this is how you know who knows the sport of boxing, you know. See you get D cast, you get casual fans who know just the big names, you know what I mean? But this dude is gonna be a major play in my eyes. He gets past this fight with Bracero. He's gonna be a major player in the welterweight division because the dude is staying six foot two. He got a great jab, you know, so he's he's very entertaining. He he, <clears throat> he got knockout power, he got a long reach. You know, just staying six foot two in the welterweight division says a lot because there's not too many people over five nine in the welterweight division. So for this guy to come in here and stay in the six foot two, you know, he's tall. You think about it, he's taller than Andre Ward. You know, and, and he's tall. He's he's taller than the Charlo brothers. You know, Jamal and Jamel Charlo are about six six feet and six one. This dude's coming in to fight six two with a long reach. You know, so he's gonna have the time. He has the Tommy Hearns uh, s you know kind of a factor. You know, and he's gonna take on um, Gabe Bracero. So this is gonna be a hell of a fight. If you know anything about Gabe Bracero, you know he's gonna leave it, in, leave everything in the ring. He come in the ring with a record of twenty four and three. His only loss is coming to the hands of Paulie Malignaggi. His last fight with Paulie Malignaggi was a loss. He lost to Felix Diaz, and he lost to Demarcus Chop Chop Corley, you know. But, um, hey, man, this dude lays it all out, man. That's the bottom line. Entertaining. He's entertaining. He's entertaining. And that's all we ask for in the sport of boxing. We ask our fighters to be entertaining, you know what I'm saying? And this dude is entertaining. He's coming in the ring with a record of 24-3. and three. You know, um, he doesn't have too many knockouts, but he's an entertaining fighter. He's an action packed fighter. So this is going to say a lot, man. You know, uh, is that to be seen if he's going to be able to get around the long arms and the long jab and the height? The height advantage in this fight is probably going to be the disadvantage for Bracero because, you know, he's coming in the ring at 5'7", and he only got a 69-inch arm reach. So, you know, if uh, as long as Thomas Lamena I'm picking Thomas Lemena to win this fight because as long as Thomas Lemena stays, you know, keeps his um, uh, uh, uses his height, fights tall, 
keeps him at bay, you know, uh, this should be an easy fight for him running away, you know. But like I said, um, Gabriel Bezero is going to make this an interesting fight. He's going to try to make it a dog fight because that's the only way he's going to win. When, you, when you're when that short and you have that many disadvantages, the only way you can win is to make it a dog fight. So, you know, and, but this is a sport of boxing, so anything can happen. You know, uh, he could get clipped. Thomas Lemina could get, definitely get clipped. You know, we've seen it happen. You know, we saw what happened with Julio Cesar Chavez. And he fought... Um, I think that was Meldrick Taylor, you know, and uh, Meldrick Taylor was winning that fight running away. And then the last, I think, five seconds in the 12th round, he got clipped, got knocked out, and there, there it is. The fight was over, you know. He was winning all the rounds. He was winning every round, in my opinion, versus Chavez. And so, you know, that just goes to show anything could happen in the sport of boxing. You know, we saw that happen with um with John Molina when he fought uh, uh, Mickey Bay. Same thing took place when John Molina fought Mickey Bay. So... You know, we never know in the sport of boxing, but in my opinion, I'm picking uh, Thomas Lamena to win this fight. If he fights tall, fights, uses his height, you know, he should win this fight running away. But that's all I got for y'all. Tune into this fight, February 24th, this Saturday, coming up, Ball Wall Boxing, Atlantic City bringing it back, Jersey, boxing is alive and kicking. 2018 is going to be hella exciting. That's all I got for y'all. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Blue Blood Sports TV. Make sure y'all hit that bell icon. Make sure y'all hit that like button. And most of all, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And holla at your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Peace.